So this is, I'll be needing this product from Aichon Beauty as my base. This is a whitening cream and as you can see, it's indicated there for sensitive areas, collagen and whitening, collagen and milk, quick whitening. So whitening and rejuvenating and it's a three days action. It's got powerful antioxidants. So I'll be needing this, this product is from Aichon Beauty. I'll be needing this as my base. So followed by my tube. I'll be using this product from FIA. This is a FIA whitening tube. So this is a whitening beauty cream as well. It's equally very active. Since we are treating the armpit, we have to make sure, we have to ensure we play safe. So, so I'm using this whitening tube from FIA. So alongside with um, one or two products, just stick around and make sure you watch this video till the end. So I'm using one of this, the entire tube. So I'll empty it here. This is the iTron Beauty base cream I used. So I'm going to add in half of this tube. I think the because I'm since I'm making this for myself and my armpits are not so dark, so I'll be using half of this. So if you think your armpits are really really dark, like really really dark, well, you might want to use maybe one, but I really think half is enough because the base cream here is actually an active one, so you might just want to use half of this. I'm just going to eyeball it. I already know the measurement, so so I'm using half of this and voila there we go so that's that's okay so i made use of half then with ampit correctors is this if it's not effective it might not work if it's not concentrated rather it might not work due to the um stubborn nature of the ampit and some people's ampit are really really dark so you need something that would really help you clay it so now that we have this here, we're just going to mix it together. That's well mixed already. So what I'm going to add next is my ampoule, my whitening ampoule. Here's my whitening ampoule from Skin Doctor. So I'm going to use one. So this is my whitening ampoule. So I'm using one. three ml so it's not too much so I emptied the I emptied the entire three ml into the base before I mix it I'm just going to add a little bit of repair oil you can use any repair oil so that's my tissue oil so it's a repair oil and um I'll also add a little bit of my stretch mark oil. It might not really be necessary, but I just like to play safe. So you can see, sorry, it's in a keg. So I just like to play safe. I'm making this in my factory. Just a little bit. Yeah, so that's it. It might not really be necessary, but I really love to place it because I'm very, very, I'm so afraid of stretch marks and I can't take that risk. Fear is not an harsh tube. Um, the Itron Beauty is not even harsh. I use it normally at home. I use it on a regular uh, tube meant for cleaning up of sensitive areas like the inner thigh and pit, bikini line. And if you know what, I'm just going to mix this together. Just make sure you mix it thoroughly. You want to mix it very well so you can get a smooth 
and creamy consistency like a cream um a milky finishing so that's it remember i said i'm making this for myself so i used one of the base cream and i used half of the fear my armpits are not so dark so but you know skincare is maintenance so i just love to maintain that's all okay so you guys can see you can see how creamy the finishing is you can see how creamy this is and this is this is going to be very very active you can see so this is actually a very good one if you can lay your hands on the materials please i if you want to get materials i already i made a video i think the second to the I think two videos before this video on where you can source for your original materials um uh, them is natural so you might want to check them out for material so you can see my uh, my finishing is very very milky it's very very creamy rather see it's very creamy because i still have one or two um product to show you guys on how to really really get that effective result just stick around don't go nowhere so um i i've transferred my i've transferred the ampute corrector here this is where i transferred it this is actually my container at work it's a container for my knuckle cream i found those in the factory so i decided to use it so i decided to use it so i'm just going to cover this up and i still have some lying around so i'm just going to give that out to maybe someone well those two soaps are soap you can use to wash your armpits i've made a review on this soap sometimes in the past so you can use this is um koji sun yeah this is koji sun and this is rdl bleaching soap so you can use this to wash your armpits yes always use this to wash your armpits before you apply your armpit cream more like your armpit moisturizer so you can wash your armpits with this one or another thing you can do is you can Another thing you can do is this. Maybe you can um, put, um, get your hands wet and just apply the soap under your arm. Just You can apply the soap in your armpits and maybe leave it for like 5 to 10 minutes before rinsing off. So either Koji Sun or RDO. So meanwhile, don't forget that the rule to a clear skin is exfoliation. So exfoliation. So you need to make sure you exfoliate your armpits regularly. So before making use of this cream, endeavor to always exfoliate. You can exfoliate two times in a week. If you have very terrible armpits, like very, very dark, you can exfoliate three times in a week. But make sure you exfoliate if you really, really want to get results. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for my future uploads. Share this video with your friends and family. Someone out there might just need this video. Um what else okay that'll be all i'll see you all in my next video soon to come bye for now i remain blessed god bless you